Good day to each and everyone of us here on my um, YouTube uh, channel. You know, uh, <clears throat> when I when I was trying to to review my uh, YouTube channel, um, I I was thinking of what if I have to create a timer program, and I should have to limit my my way of doing programming up to the loop statement on it and how, how should I do it right? because uh, the number one problem of um, timer is on the usage of go to go statement and uh, though go is being recognized in some other um, online compiler but then on my uh, online compiler this online GDB uh, Gotoxi is not being recognized and I cannot uh, display the timer because when I am going to display it, it will occupy the whole space the whole screen right so what I did is uh, I, I tried to do some research and uh, I, I, I got it right now I got it right so I just added some functionality but then uh, I'll try to discuss it on this uh, on this uh, video okay so uh, I, I hope um, uh, I will end this video fruitfully and uh, I'll be able to, to share my my way of or techniques in, in solving a programming problem right so um, I'll be showing you the, the metal pad in here this is actually a timer in C program like, and uh, when without using this function which I'm going to I, I will discuss function programming on my next series of video but but for now please um, dear subscribers do not ask me how is that what is the behavior of that function okay please come okay We'll just focus on the timer itself. Anyway, time will come that I'll be discussing function and programming, right? So, but uh, I'd love to, to just give you an overview. The purpose of this function, void gotoxy, is to, to deputize gotoxy that when I am going to use gotoxy on my timer program, I'll be able to position the cursor at a particular specific place wherein the timer is being displayed. Because if I'm not going to use that function, the timer will be displayed the whole screen. Okay, every time my C, C compiler or compiler, compiler execute print it, it will display a single timer, another timer, another timer, until such time that it occupies the whole screen no? so then uh, I, 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 I use this uh, this function okay uh, I will explain this on my next series of, of video right so here look at this this is my main main program okay this is my main program I have here one two three four and five um, um integer variables i'm going to use uh while i'm trying to create a timer program okay and here i did use uh input and output statements i am asking here for an hour to set the timer right and then scan f whatever is that hour value that will be stored to each each by, by the way each it stands for hour mm for minutes and this is for seconds I'm sorry I have here nested if uh, loop another nested I have two nested for loop statement in one loop right so <clears throat> I have here this uh, for I and I, 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 I make use of each each as my limit for this mother loop and then another nested loop for minutes right and I tend to limit my minute 
to 60 because in an hour there is this 60 minutes and another nested for loop in here for seconds and again I limit it to 60 because one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds all right and then I am now invoking gotoxy I tend to use this function right so when I say gotoxy I am trying to use the functionality of this one and I'm trying to place my cursor at row 12 column 12 all right and then display percent d percent d percent d percent d is for i which refers to my hour right and then followed by minutes and seconds what is this the purpose of this loop is just to give interval between bit, when, when I'm going to print this one I need to delay a little just to emphasize the result because without this one you cannot see the movement of values because our 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 you know our laptops nowadays are so fast that you cannot really see in your naked eye the the movement of values but technically it moves it moves but since we cannot say so i decided you know in 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 c programming we have this delay statement but again and again same with gotoxy delay is not being recognized by my online compiler so i created my own delay function so again this is another function which i just intentionally inserted it just to delay right so here uh, if for example our hour is equal to one right or two for example so meaning if our h is is equal to two that means this two nested loop will be performed how many times two times because we did use this value two as our limit for this right and every time it loops okay this will be performed now while my minute is one okay this will also be performed once and if my second is one this will be performed once also right so this inner loop body will only exit if is 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 greater than 60 meaning these two lines here are uh, this one this inner loop the gotoxy the delay and the printed will be performed 60 times before it exits and goes to and goes to m and once m is equal to 2 another 60 times if m is equal to 3 another 60 times if m is equal to 4 another 60 times if m is equal to 5 another 60 times and so on and and uh, so forth right so that's that's the function of of, of um, nested for loop okay now we'll try to we'll try to, to run this program actually this is the program the same program that i was discussing this sounds this is a little bit technical but uh, please uh, um, do some exploration explore this program try to study right and uh, look at the logic okay so here when we are going to run this program for the sake of discussing let's say for example seven hours enter hour for timer city so seven hours so when we click this one seven hours when we click this one this is now the timer it will stop if this one is equal to seven right so look at this this is our is is and this is our minutes and this is our hour right so 60 before it increases to one 60 before it increases to two 60 before it increases to three and this one 60 before it increases to one 60 before it increases to right so that's that's nested nested um, look at that it exceeds when 
when r becomes 7 because we 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 set each each is or r as our limit for the entire the entire book. now if we are going to um, to increase the value of this one meaning the, the the printing of this will be delayed longer okay so say for example i'll try another example seven again when presenter okay look at it so all right you cannot just see the entire koan because of you know uh, our online compiler is uh, limited to to a particular statements right but if we have the chance to meet personally and make use of the c editor and compiler the burland c we can use dutuk c and delay and we can really emphasize the 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 the, the functionality of this uh, timer program okay so this is the inner loop the 4 is equal to for ss is equal to 0 to 60 and this is the next loop for mm is equal to 0 to 60 and this is the outer loop the mother loop for hh is equal to 0 to so on and so forth for i right so that's it um okay that will exit it will exit if our r becomes seven yeah becomes seven so that's it we'll stop the execution now look at this if we are going to to uh erase this one right because this is not being recognized in in this particular online compiler and we'll be only using this so when we run our program okay our program asks for the r let us see seven and we press enter k to display all right so look at this so it displays all right so that's it no so we need to we need to do some you know create some functions all right so i'm going to look at this one if i am not going to use another loop just to delay the printing of this one when we press enter k you cannot see really the movement of values the increasing of the increase of value you have not really seen. seven for example when you press enter k it's just a matter of you know right so you cannot uh, you cannot emphasize really the 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 loops the movement of the loops so that is why we need to um add some additional programs right just to delay the the process and while trying to delay the process we are actually emphasizing the movement of uh, nested loop state right so in in Berlin C um, software you can really see the 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 step by step increase of value from 1 to 60 because of delay statement and you can do even design the screen by using by using the toxic function but on this particular online compiler uh, it's not being recognized and we are not allowed to use it right. so um I, I, I hope I was able to explain the the functionality of this timer program though uh, I did not explain the detail of details of this one but eventually I'll be posting videos on this function programming our next topic is function programming but for the meantime we'll try we'll try to limit on the this particular topic the loop statement okay so that's all for this video Thank you so much for patiently watching this video. Please click subscribe and uh, like this video. Please uh, share this video to your friends and uh, relatives. You know, the best way to be good in programming is to first learn C programming um, language. Right? So thank you so much for now. Goodbye. God bless you.